Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do a review and some swatches of um, the new palette from, well it's new for me, uh, of the Be It Cosmetics palette with Carly Bible. That's what it looks like. Um, I'll show you what the palette looks like, um, some swatches and um, also tell you, you know, how what kind of looks that we can create um the look i have up on right now is up on my channel i'll link it here uh in the card and you can go and see it uh it is the chocolate orange um palette from um i love makeup and it's actually turned up really nice so i really like it um yeah so for this one uh let's get into this one first so um, this is what it looks like, it's cardboard, it's got a sleeve, it has 21 eye colour shadows, a highlighter palette, um, and, oh no, yeah, 21 eyeshadows and a highlighter palette, so it has more than one highlighter, which is always nice. Um, when you open it, this is what it looks like. Uh, it doesn't have a mirror. Oh, sorry, it does have a mirror. Why am I lying? Um, it has a mirror as well, and it, this is what the palette looks like. Um, these are, it has a nice, like a marbly textured um, print on it, and it, inside it says "Aspire to Inspire." That's very nice. Um, yeah, so these are the colours that it has. They are all very beautiful. Uh, what I will do is I will swatch all of these colours on my hand um, and show you one by one. Um, it didn't come with um, an insert page, or maybe it did, and I think it fell out somewhere. Um, but I, what I can do is I will um, search for it online and look for the colour names, and then I'll put those down for you. Um, so let's start with the first line. So there are five in each line. This is what they look like. That's four. And this is five. These are the five ones. That is a very beautiful colour. I really like that. It's um, it's like a pinky goldy colour. So that's really. Um, some of them are a bit crumbly. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I mean, some of them are slightly um, on the crumbly. Like they're 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 very soft and buttery, but they're not. They they might have a bit of fallout. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, right, let's do the middle row, which is this one over here. Um, right, let's start again. So it looks like the middle row is more like a neutral one. Um, and I say this because the middle row has like purpley shades, if you can see. There's one very shiny one there, like an iridescent one. Then you've got three very neutral ones, including this one. And then this is like a dark one. So um, the iridescent one is like a... Um, it has a purple undertone to it, but it's quite shimmery, um, which I personally really, really like. I like shimmery um, makeup looks anyway. And then the last one is a slightly, I think it might be like one of the, like the smokier ones because it's got a really dark colour at the end. So I'm guessing it will be like a nighttime colour. I'll show you these. The pigments of these is just amazing. It's actually really nice. Yeah, so this is what it looks like now. So you've got the lighter one here, then you've got like goldy one. This is like a a rust, uh, a brownie rust one. This one is like a really coppery, 
bronzy colour and then this one is like the darkest one in the whole palette which I actually really like I mean um, you do need a dark colour for any crease work and stuff like that so um, and you can even actually use it as an eyeliner so if you'll get your brush or have like your Max Fix Plus um, and you spray it on it's actually really nice so the pigments for this is really, really uh, on this are really really good and considering the price I think it's absolute bargain um, <coughs> What I will do for you though is test maybe two of the um, highlighters out just now. So let me zoom you in a little. There you go. And let's test out um, two of these highlighters. So uh, let's test out. So I'll do this one, this big one over here. And then this pinky one over here, I'm intrigued, I want to see if it's like a frosty one or is it like a um, like a goldy one. Because it looks slightly pink and frosty, but we'll see. So let's go ahead with this one first. I'm going ahead with this one first. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh, it is like disco ball. I love it. Oh, that is really nice. I mean, they are slightly powdery, but I think. Let me actually use my beauty blender. Well, not beauty blender, sorry, the real technique sponge. Just to tap it into the skin. So it doesn't look as powdery. Oh, that is beautiful. That is much better. That's really nice. Um, now let's use the pinky one on the other side. Ooh. That something else wow that is yeah that's like ice queen <laughs> that's really nice oh i feel like covering my face with it goodness gracious me um i think again with this one wow this is this you know what this reminds me of like you know the main mermaid um ones that people uh, looks that like people were doing this would be beautiful for it um just let me Tap it in with my little technique sponge. Just to maybe turn it down a bit. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Um, I think both of them are nice, but for every day, I think this one would be much better. I mean, not every day. I mean, like generally because it's gold it'll suit every single skin tone but the pink one is like a frosty one so unless you want something bam in your face um then this will be quite nice but i actually like like this one as well i i mean we do have the coppery ones as well but i think they are more suited to slightly darker tones i can swatch them for you actually let me let me swatch them for you so these are the two, uh, three, four, there you go, three, four um, highlighters for slightly darker tones. Um, so the one in the middle, this one, is the one with the biggest pan and these are on the two in the below. Um, and while I'm at it, why don't I swatch for you? the ones that I have just put on as well. There you go. So this is the one that I haven't put on yet. It's like a very, that's very white. I mean, that is frosty as hell. Um, that's the white one. This is the one which is in the bigger pan on my right cheek there. 
and this is the iridescent one which is oh focus focus here so yeah uh, I mean these are very very beautiful um, as far as the pigments are concerned they are on point um, very highly pigmented really nice and creamy um, but what I will do for you if you like if you like a look with this palette then let me know in the comments below um, and I can surely do that for you so yeah let me know if you like this video give this a thumbs up please subscribe and I'll see you next